doing? Hello, everybody. Mike here, Baseball Collector. Doing a little Friday night showcase tonight. And I've been looking forward to this one. I've been picking up a lot of cards of this player lately. And I'm really excited that I think I have enough cards now where I could do a, a really nice showcase of what I have of this player. And it is of Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente is one of those guys that I have just tremendous respect for his career. I never saw him play. Uh, that was before my time. But I heard about him. You know, he was kind of the first real big Latin star. And so I am uh, just thrilled to death to have so many cards of his in my collection. I have 22 slabs of his. And we're just going to get started right now with what I got. First up, and my earliest card of Clemente is this 1956 Tops. It is a three and absolutely deservedly so. Uh, there's snow on this card, but it is just a beautiful baseball card. I love the action shot. It's the same portrait, I believe, that's on his rookie card. The tops used for this card, and you see that a lot in Roberto Clemente's cards. Um, this is a three, and this thing was graded a long time ago. It's in a really old case, but just a beautiful baseball card, classic. I don't have a rookie card yet. Uh, that is number one on my want list for the national is to get a Roberto Clemente rookie card. So looking forward to searching that out and hunting it. So there you go. There's 56. I got some gaps in my collection uh, for sure. I, I certainly don't have a full run of Clemente as much as I'd love to, but uh, you know, I've seen so many guys show off some Clemente stuff lately. A lot of guys are starting to pick up Clemente cards and I think that's really smart I know Dustin Bellinger is a big Clemente guy. He collects Clemente and has an awesome collection of Roberto Clemente. But uh, here's some of the other stuff I got. I got a 57 here. Really nice card and an excellent five. Here's the 59 tops, also in an excellent five. But this five is really gorgeous. Uh, new lighthouse holder, so really really nice uh it's just this is when they started you know calling him bob in 1957 and he hated that like he really didn't like being called bob he's like my name's roberto thank you very much uh we tried to Amer you know tops tried to americanize him to make him more appealing to the masses but uh he just hated it i know that so there's an excellent five on his you know 59 Here's my 60 Tops card. Uh, Mike O just showed one of these off, which is awesome. I uh, love this card. This is an excellent five as well. It's in the hollow foil, hologram holder there. So it's next, last previous generation holder, but just a beautiful baseball card there. Got a 1961 batting leaders. This is a, uh, Shows Clemente there hitting 314, and it also has Willie Mays on it. So, really cool card there. Here's the regular 61 tops that I showed off not too long ago in a video. I just got this card um, this week. So, there you go, 61. Next up is 1962, also in a five. I think you're kind of seeing a theme fives and sixes because Clemente stuff is really popular and goes for really really good money and so I just try to get really good examples if I can find them in the cards there's 62 love it there is the 63 Fleer again showed this this week because I got it this week but really beautiful for great centering just a beautiful baseball card right there I picked this card up at the National last year uh, I, I may have paid 10 bucks for this or something. I mean, it was insanely inexpensive. I can't remember exactly, but this is Buck Blasters 1963 Tops in a five. Uh, it's got, you know, several people from the Pittsburgh Pirates team back then, including Roberto Clemente. Here is a 64 Tops NL Batting Leaders. Uh, Clemente is pictured there as well as fellow Hall of Famer, Hank Aaron. So definitely, again, some gaps. Here's the 65 that I also got this week, 
and it is uh, VGEX4 corner issues here on this card, but the rest of it is very, very nice. No 66s, no 67s, so we move on to 68 tops. This is also a 5, but a very, very clean 5. And I'll kind of halfway throw this card in, and then I'll show it better. And then they use the same picture. Thanks, Tops. Thanks a lot for using the same picture for his All-Star card. There's the 68 All-Star in a 4. I had this raw and sent it in myself. I sent this next card in myself as well. I have this whole set and sent in a bunch of the stars and Hall of Famers. The 68 Tops game. This, car, this set is very, very tough. You wouldn't think so with rounded edges, but they're, everything is just so off-center on these. It's ridiculous. And the backs matter too. So if the backs are off-center like that one, it's going to get a bad grade. I mean, it's just this is a very tough set to grade. But a really cool set, very neat, uh, actually quite inexpensive. So if you're gonna, there's a couple of cards that I'm gonna talk about that if you want to start getting some Clementes, start looking at certain cards. This is one of them I would tell you to look at. Next up is the 69 tops here. Love this card. To me, really, really clean for a five. Just beautiful, great picture. Um, I think it was taken at the same time as the 68 because he's wearing the exact same thing, same bat, everything. Thanks, Tops. Way to be creative. Here is an iconic card. The first year Kellogg's came out was 1970, and the Clemente was one of the key cards of that set. This one is in a beautiful near mint to mint eight. These are very susceptible to cracking and, um, you know, just wear and tear on the corners, believe it or not, but just awesome. I love the, the Kellogg's cards. And there's the 70 Clemente. Here is a 1970 Tops Roberto Clemente. Beautiful card here as well. It is uh, an excellent mint six, but a really, really nice example. Love, love this card. This one I got today, actually. So I'll show it off. This is the reason that inspired me to do this showcase video was I finally got this card. I've been waiting on it for a while. And this is a very cool card. This is a 1972 Daily Juice Company membership card for, I'll turn it over so you can see, for the Roberto Clemente Fan Club. Club. So you can send in to the address, 25 cents, and you can get a eight by 10 full color picture of Roberto Clemente. You get to put your name there. I should probably write my name on there. Oh wait, it's in a slab, I can't do that. <laughs> But these are shockingly easy to get. Uh, the, these are, this is another one of those that, man, if you want to go find a cool, unique Roberto Clemente card, go look for this one. Uh, it's, I paid, I want to say $17, like shipped everything for this card. And just, it's very different, very cool. I love the quirkiness of it, I guess. Certainly non-mainstream and unique and just absolutely love it. Now we get into some 72 tops. Clemente has three cards in that set. The first one is this card commemorating game four of the 1971 World Series. You see Clemente there leading off of first. I got that in a near mint seven. Next is uh, the regular, just base issue 72 tops. I had this raw and I sent it in myself a long time ago. And like probably in my first PSA submission I ever did, a long time ago and uh, it got a near mint to mint eight which is awesome I sent in this card recently and didn't do as well on it I only got a three on the in action card but it looks very clean I mean sometimes I, I'm bewildered at the grading of, of PSA but this card's really clean it only got a three but hey that's all right glad to have it and then the last card, of course, is the 73 Tops. Clemente did not play in 73, of course. He passed away uh, in December of 1972, taking um, on a plane, taking relief supplies to, it was either Nicaragua or Honduras, I can't remember. He was from Puerto Rico, 
but was doing a humanitarian mission and the plane went down and he passed away in that crash. You'll see what's great about the back of this card is at the bottom, you see his final total of hits. The second column there is exactly 3000, which is where he finished his career. And a shame we lost him, you know, so early. He probably would have played a couple of more years um, he was certainly at the end of his career as this card was being made, but had maybe a couple of years left and certainly could have piled on some more hits. But his greatness is not diminished by that. He is truly one of the elite players to ever play the game, and he's just amazing. And there you go. So that is the 22 cards that I have in my collection of Mr. Roberto Clemente. Let me know what you think down below. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Keep collecting.